G'day guys, it's Scorcher here with another How to Build, and today we're finishing off Edward Kenway from last week as a big ass statue build from the Skin Pack 5. So, what we're going to need, pretty much what we had last week, uh, we're going to need some cyan stained clay, some black wool, smooth stone, uh, quartz. Uh, light blue clay, white clay, uh, light blue wool. Whoops, where are we going? Over here. Uh, and a potion of swiftness that will do to start us off. And let's drink that potion. Alright, so we're going round the back. Right down the bottom. Because that's where we're going to start off. So, doesn't matter which side you start from. Going from the inside of either block on either side, we're just going to swap straight to where that cyan stained clay. And we're just going to do two rows of that from side to side. From there, we're going to swap to our black wall. And we're going to do four rows of that. We're like literally just tracing this whole pattern around at the moment. So it's a great easy way to start off. Or a good way to end your Friday. From there when I swap back to our cyan clay, I'm going to do two rows of that. Then I'm going to swap to a smooth stone, and we're going to do four rows of that. Just simple and easy. The way I like it for a Friday. Alright, from there we're going to swap to a quartz, and we're going to do two rows of that. Then we're going to swap to our light blue stained clay and do two rows of that. Hey, and guess what's going to come next? If you guessed light blue wool, you guessed correctly. And then two rows of white clay. Oops. Alright, and that's enough of the rows. So that's what you should be looking at to start off with. Like I said, she's pretty simple and easy and straightforward so far. So from here, we're going to swap to a quartz. And um, doesn't matter which side you do this on, we want to do a 6x6 six six of that. So we've already got a row here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can just fill that in. And we want to do one on this side. So we already have one, two, three, four, five, six, by two, three, four, five, six. Do, 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 do. Now the middle in here can be filled with the white stained clay block so you should be looking at something like that from here we can actually ditch the blue clay the blue wall go into our inventory and break out some red clay and red wool red clay red wool alright so we're gonna start from the left hand side and what we want to do is do a 2 by 4 of red wool so it's 4 across and 2 high so 1 2 3 4 we're then gonna do a 2 by 2 of red clay next to that
And I might as well go to the other side here while I've got the red clay out, because we're going to do a 2x4 of that. And then this gap here in the middle should be a 6x2 of just red wool. Now on top of that, we're going to swap to our cyan clay, and we're going to do two rows on top of that entire red. So that's from side to side. By two of. Now we're going to swap back to our red wall. And from the left hand side, we want to go six across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we want two rows. Then we want to go four across with red clay. Whoops. Then four with red wool. And then a two of clay. Red clay, that is. Alright. We don't actually need the red clay or the red wool anymore, so that can disappear. And we're going to swap back to our cyan stained clay. Because going from the left hand side, again we want to come six across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. By two rows. And basically it's going to be the same as like what we did last week. See how we've got that step up pattern going up like that. We're going to do basically the same thing again here. So on this six here, we're going to come back in two. And we're going to go... Do a 2x2 two two like that. With a 2x2 two two like that. So we're just going to keep doing a 4x2 rectangle pattern like that. I'm going to step up like that. So we should need 5 of them. So we've done 1 of them like that. So there's 2 of them. There's 3. There's four. There's five. And then from this fifth one, we just want to do another two by four. But this time, this one's going straight up and down. So it should be one, two, three, four. Like that. So if you did it right, it should match up with your shoulder. And you should be looking at something like that. Pretty easy. Now, just to finish it off, we're going to swap to our white stained clay. And right back down the bottom here, next to this cyan clay and on top of this red clay, we just want to do a little 2x4 of white clay. So it's 4 across, by 2 high. And then we're going to come up and go to the right, and do a 2x2 two two over there. Like that. And then, not on this first 2x4 of cyan, but on this second one, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're just going to do a, go up and to the left. And we want to do a 2x2 two two of white clay up there. So it looks like that. And we just want to do another one of these. Again, by going up and to the left again. So you should have something that looks like that. And from there, you can just fill the rest in from top to bottom with quartz. So only go to like the side here. Don't go all the way across to the arm because we're going to do that in a second. And just remember, if you think like this is too big, you can half the dimensions and he will actually be half the size. Because that is the joy of doing these builds. Feeling. 
and in his body. What do we got? Two to go. Alright. So that's what you should have for the back part of him so far. Like I said, she's pretty easy, standard, straightforward. Nothing spectacularly hard. But alright, let's go do his arms. What we're going to need to start off with is some smooth sandstone and some oak planks. Because this is basically just going to be a mirror of this part here. So we're just going to add one row of smooth sandstone here. So that way you've got two in total. But on the part that's closest to his body, we want to do a 2x2 two two of smooth sandstone, then a 2x2 two two of oak planks. So see how that's like exactly the same? And that'll be the same on this side. So that way the 2x2 two two of oak planks are closest to his body, like so. So from here, we're going to then swap to our quartz, and we're going to do two rows of that. Like so. We're then going to swap to our cyan stained clay, and we're going to do an 8x8 eight eight of that. So we've already got one row here. And then it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we can just fill it in. Alright, from there, we're then going to swap to our quartz block. And on the part that's closest to his body, we want to do a 4x4 four four of that. So, so on this side, it's also going to be like over here. 1, 2, 3, 4... It's exactly symmetrical like that. Now on top of that quartz, we're going to do two rows of four white clay. We're then going to swap back to our cyan clay. And going from the top of the white clay, we want to come four across, which we've already got a fourth one there and four down, which we already have. And we can just fill that in. Now in this little gap here, can be black wool. Oh wait, I've already got some out. <laughs> I skipped that because I was like, I didn't have it. I didn't want to go into the inventory just yet. But I already had it. All right, I might just leave that top part for a second because I've got to ditch some stuff to fill that in. So I might just quickly do this other side. But that's pretty straightforward because it's just a mirrored version of that. So we have two of the quartz, eight of the clay, cyan clay. And was it two of the black? Four of the clay. Speed build! Alright, so... We're not going to need that or that anymore. So we want to go into our inventory, and we want to break out some brown wool. And some just regular hardened clay. Now I'm going to do the this side first. And all you want to do is come across six. So we've already got one here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then the rest can be filled in with hardened clay. And that'll be the same on this side. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Douche, 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 douche. So that's what you should be looking like so far for the back part of him. Now, his head. I'm just going to clear my inventory because I want quartz. Uh, play. Whoa. Potion. Alright, so obviously I'm coming in from the back. I'm going to start on the outermost cyan part clay there by placing a block of quartz. I'm going to have three hanging back over the back. So one, two, three. And I want to have a line of 10 quartz blocks long to the front. So I've already got four there. So then we're going to have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, I'm then going to swap to my white clay and do a two by two of that. Whoops. Now from here, I want to do another two of those, but on a diagonal line going up to the front. So... You're looking at something like that. But just on that third one, up the top here, towards the front, I just want to add two more going up. Just like that. Now, we're going to swap back to our quartz and back to this first lot of quartz here behind the white clay. I'm just going to go four up. That includes that bottom one. So we already have one, two, three, four. I'm then going to swap to my white wall and do a two by two on top of that. So just make sure that this 2x2 two two sits next to that one. It doesn't overlap it. Alright, and then we're going to swap back to the white clay. And we're going to go 4 high on top of the white wall. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to come up one to the front one. And do a little 2x2 two two there. We're then going to swap to our white wall and add a 2x2 two two of that on top of it, like so. Now, when it comes to doing the head on these statues, they normally are a 16x16 16 16 cube. So, starting from the back, we want to go with our quartz, we want to go 16 high. So we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then you can go all the way to the front. And this will line up with the white clay. And if you did it right, you should have two rows of quartz above your white wall here, which we do. From there you can drink a potion of swiftness and fill that whole lot in now with quartz. Quartz?
So you should be looking at something like that to start off with. Right, let's do the back, because that's easy. Like I said, his heads are 16 by 16 cube. They all are. So let's go 16 across. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And if you did that correctly, it should match up with his other shoulder. And in this little gap here, because he wears a white hood, we're just going to fill that in with quartz. And then we're going to go from the back, 16 high, till we make it level with the other side. Oops. And the back of his hood is nothing special, it's just all white, so this can just get filled in. And guess what? The top of his hood is nothing special either, so he might as well complete the part of the cube. And we can just go front to side to back to side and fill in the top. This is nice and easy. This is much easier than building that frigate. It's like here. Here's how to build... Edward Kenway. His head's a 16 by 16 cube of just white. Done. Bam. Ah. I remember the days when doing builds like these were just like so scary and stressful. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm doing this massive mega build. And then I did the frigate. It was like, pfft. Did the frigate and now doing a build like this is just like, pfft. This child's play. What is this? But it's good, I need a break. Alright, anyway, on to the other side. Starting from the back, we want to do 12 blocks of quartz to the front. Now we already have 4 here. So we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. From here, we're going to do a 2x2 two two of white clay. So, 1, 2, one, two, and then we're just going to add another two by two of white clay that's diagonally up to the front. So, like that. And then coming on the side that's closest to the front, we want to do four going straight up. So, one, two, three, four. And yes, we just want that to be a single row. Now, we can swap to our quartz, and coming from the top, we can just level that down with the white clay. Uh, I might put a second row in up the top here. Because on the third one, well, third row down, we're going to come four in. So we've already got one here. So we've got one. Two, three, four. And then we're basically going to do exactly the same of what we've did over there, but over here. So we're going to swap to our white wall, and we're going to do a two by two of that. So we're then going to do a two by two of white clay under that. And then just like over there, we're going to come back and down. I'm going to do four down and two rows of it with a two by two of white clay under that. Ah, uh, not white clay. What do I got? Whoa. So like I said, it looks exactly the same over there as it does over here. Except for that part, that doesn't matter. But the rest can now be filled in with what? Oh, 
Yep. All right. So now that just leaves the face. Or you can just leave it like that if you want to do it for a Halloween prank. I don't really care. It's your world. Alright. So, while we've got our quartz out, starting from the top, we're just going to add a second row in. Like so. Now, on the third row, coming from the right-hand side, we want to come six in. So, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do a second row of it. From there, we're going to swap to our white stained clay. And we're going to do a two by two in there. And we're going to come down on a diagonal pattern to the right. We want to do another couple of those. So, there's one. There's two. Now, where we have this single row of four here, we're just going to add another single row of four coming out like that. So it should be still coming on that same diagonal line down. And you're just going to leave that one little one by two there like so. And you can actually fill this little gap in with quartz. Oops. So you should be looking at something like that. Now, we're going to do the other side. From this topmost white clay, we're going to come down and across, smash that one out, and we want to go four to the outside. So we already have that one, two, three, four. And then we're just going to do two two by twos on our diagonal line down. So we've got one, two, and then this gap up in here can be filled with quartz. So you should be looking at something a little bit like that at the moment. So from here, we're going to go into our inventory. Break out some hardened clay. Some blue wool. Uh, we might take some light grey wool as well. Whoops. And smooth sandstone. I don't know why I'm drinking this. I really don't need it. Alright, so again, coming to this topmost part of the white clay here, we're actually going to come back in one, come down one, and do a 2x2 two two of hardened clay in there. Because this whole lot that we're about to build is going to be set back one from the front of his hood. We're then going to swap to the blue wall, and we're going to come down one, out one, smash that one out, and do a 2x2 two two there, and we're going to do another one of those in the corner over here, so you should be looking at something like that, but in case you can't, you didn't get that, from this blue, you can swap to your smooth sandstone and just go four across. And then do the other 2x2 two two of blue. Whoops. From here, we can actually swap back to our hardened clay. And below this 2x2 two two of white clay, we want to do a 2x2 two two of just regular hardened clay. And then coming to the outmost part of that in the bottom left-hand corner here, 
we're going to do another 2x2. Two two. And yes, this time those two are actually overlapping. I know it seems a little weird, but trust me, it's how it is. I wouldn't lie to you intentionally. Alright, so we're going to come to the other side here. And again, next to the 2x2 two two of white clay, next to the blue wall. We're going to do a 2x2 two two of hardened clay under that. And in the bottom right hand corner one, we're just going to do two little ones like that. Now from here, you can pretty much fill in the rest of this with smooth sandstone. Oops. Now once you get level with the hardened clay, what you're going to do is, coming from the outermost part of the hardened clay, we're going to come in five. It doesn't matter which side you do it, because it's going to be equal on each side. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You're then going to want to swap to your light grey wall, and do four in the middle, and two rows of that. And now the rest is just uh, smooth sandstone. Now you might notice that you've got a gap in here. That's fine. That's just smooth sandstone. And same under here as well. Ta-da! And that's it. We're done. Seriously. There we have it. One Edward Kenway statue skin pack build from skin pack 5. So there we go. If you do like this video, make sure you smack that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and if there's anything you want to see built, drop it in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys again next week for another How to Build.